Editing is a complex puzzle. You start with a blank canvas and all your colours are still a mystery to you. And the only way of getting to the end is by mixing these colours together. TV is a strange world. What I'm about to do on this timeline will affect what you get to see, will affect everything that's on TV and that's on the computer screen regarding to this one specific episode. Every cut I'm about to do will be viewed. That's a lot of pressure. When you break it down, TV is made up of three things. The first is footage. Without footage, you have a podcast. And when I say footage, I mean lots and lots of footage. The second is a script. A lot of scripts, but always a script. A script is your get out of jail free card. And the third is money. Realistically, a lot of money. Between now and the next five weeks, we have to get this episode of a six part documentary series finished. That includes rough cuts and fine cuts. That's intense. I enjoy the stress of an edit. It's when my best ideas come out. And also, working with a good director always helps. At week one, you're cutting in all the audio. You're cutting your interviews. You're putting in the voiceovers. At week two, you're going through your pictures. You're finding those hidden gems. At week three, you're refining the cut. Something watchable. A video with a hint of what else is to come, but with more time. At week four, you're getting into what needs to be left on the cutting room floor. You're removing the fat. And at week five, you're at the finish line. You're re-watching over and over and over again, looking at every single last cut. Does this audio need to be moved one frame? Does this song work? Is there better visuals? What do we need to converse to graphics? Is this the episode we want people to watch? You wait. The weeks go by. The day turns to night. And when finally, your timeline is being played on the big screen, it's live for everyone to watch and to enjoy, to criticise. And those weeks in the edit become forgotten in history.